22 year old Iknur survived the earthquake. She was able to pull out her mother before their house collapsed. Now she's back to save whatever is left and rebuild her life. I lived in this building with my mother. We were lucky, we survived. Now, with the help of my uncle and relatives, we're trying to get what we can. Some things are broken and some aren't. While lucky enough to be alive, Iknur and her family are now rushing to collect whatever they can before bulldozers move in to demolish what's left of her house. I can't wait for the demolition. I don't know how I can regain a balanced mental state. My mother is what I've got now. I also need to dedicate myself to helping her too. Our life from now on is recovering. In Nurdagi, the sound of bulldozers, trucks and heavy machinery can be heard among the hills of concrete and debris. They are here to bring down those buildings that did not collapse from the earthquakes, but suffered damages, making them inhabitable. One of those belonged to Zahide, an elderly woman. She now overlooks as one of those bulldozers is swiping away 35 years of hard work. It's a very bad feeling. We are outside, we are on the street, we're in a mess. Thank God we survived, but there is nothing for us left to do. We lost everything. We just saved our lives. We've been working here 35 years. All of our savings are gone. Like Iknur and Zahide, over a million people are now left homeless, living in organized tent cities or makeshift shelters. While there is no active international rescue mission, there are people who still continue the search with the hope of finding their loved ones. But as it's been already two weeks, the government is now focusing on rebuilding those areas affected. We need to clean up so we can rebuild. It's very hard to see people's homes and belongings being taken away, but it has to be done. It's the only way we can rebuild. I know there are many things that people might still want to collect, so they need to wait once it's all cleaned up. From Kahraman Maras to Gaziantep and Antakya, anywhere you look, you see piles of concrete, steel bars, and whatever things left around in damaged houses. To ease the pain, the government pledged to rebuild all those apartments and houses lost within a year and pay for people's rent. But with over 45,000 dead and 100,000 still missing in cities like Nurdayi, the cleanup and healing process could take much longer.